Hey guys, welcome back to the Albanian Way and today we're gonna do an oil change on a 2011 Mercedes-Benz E350 Bluetech which stands for diesel engine. For this type of engine we're gonna need 9 quarts of full synthetic 5W30. I'm gonna put the links in the description where to get these and of course the filter OX380D if you want to buy it yourself. But this comes as a kit from FCP Euro so links will be in the description. And as usual, with these newer engines, they got this fancy cover, so we need to take care of that. You unclip it in here. And on this side, lift it up, it just popped up. And now we have access to the oil when we refill it here, and to the oil filter. Make sure to get the high capacity oil catch, because like I said, we got nine quarts of oil to catch here. And with uh, some of those smaller pans, it might overflow on you. There are a few screws that you need to take care of first. Okay, once the cover is off, you can see the drain bolt, which is right here. Right here, right next to this other cover. For this one, you're gonna need a half inch. In the meantime, we can remove the filter. Here we're gonna do the disassembly and then the reassembly with the new filters and the two o-rings and don't forget to change the washer the new one here we got a new filter either way is fine All right, time to fill up. Okay, and now on the last quart, it's good to check the oil level and we can put in as much as we need. The oil level stick is right over here. Looks like it's overfilled by just a little bit from here to here. I'm gonna start the engine and it's probably gonna lower the level even more. And we can check, we can take another reading. Alrighty, so it's been about 10 minutes that I let the car run and uh, we had the oil level just a little bit over the normal. Um, now we're gonna take another dip and see where we're at. The level, just like I said, dropped. And I think it's in the perfect spot for oil level to be. If you wanna let the car know that you changed the oil so it won't annoy you with uh, messages uh, trying to remind you that you have an oil change. Um, in order to do that, we need to access the car into the first position, which means if you have a push button, then you only hit it once. Don't press the, the brakes or anything. Just have your key ready or uh, close to the car and press it only once, not the second position. This is the first position. The second position is when everything lights up like a, like a Christmas tree almost all around the dash. So let me close the light here for a second. Okay, once you're over here and you can see the 
mileage on your car that's where you want to be you want to see the mileage if you're not at the mileage like you're over here then all you do is go back with a back button until you see the mileage now from here it's a little tricky you have to hit the call button and the ok button at the same time but it's not exactly at the same time you will hit the call button a split second faster than the ok button over here and then you hold both for about 10 seconds or so and on the screen it's gonna display the menu to reset the services okay so let me go ahead and do that call button we've got the ok then you go to the assist plus you hit ok and you go to full service hit ok and then confirm full service and hit ok service carry out yes confirm ok and there you go full service carried out and that's all you need to do Alrighty, and so much for the oil change thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time